What's up guys, this is Hatai7 RCT Gaming bringing you another video for you guys. Hope you guys are doing well out there. Uh, today I'm going to be bringing something actually different. Uh, different in the sense that I was looking recently to, you know, look into other front ends and builds and stuff like that. Trying to, you know, uh, keep it varied for all of you guys out there that want to check out, you know, what's good, what's fun. And um, uh, thankfully, I got a heads up from Nally from Pax for Us about this team called Team Retro. And they have their own stuff uh, called Retro Mods. And they have this build called Retro Mini Neo. And you're going to be seeing the team members right here about now. And what they have here is a very interesting, very nice, and uh, they have worked for a very long period of time into getting this ready. I was told by one of the members that um, they took a better part of a full year to getting this ready, and it's, it, it shows. It just shows. Uh, I wasn't expecting much, to be honest, and I was completely blown away. I'm going to show you why. get it up and running here now this one is done using retro FE however with a twist it uses rocket launcher now I know rocket launcher is something of a uh, legend right now for being extremely a headache to set up and stuff and I kind of agree it has a steep learning curve if you're a beginner and starting to deal with it but it does some amazing things if you know how to tweak it right this right here I love it because it has a simple simple UI colorful enough it doesn't look like muted or anything like that and if you idle it'll play the video of whatever it is that you selected now this is just surface level but already it looks really, really good. But not only that, among its settings, which is something that I don't see a lot in builds, they dedicated a lot of time and effort into making some really cool options for you instead of just digging inside the folders and stuff. So you basically have here, you know, a list of things that you can toggle on and off specific things also and a very good explanation of what it does because you can have a ton of features and stuff like that but if they're all you know just sitting there and you have no idea what they're for you know it's kind of at least for beginners it's kind of you get lost so they take the time in setting everything and explaining step by step what you will be activating or deactivating which in my opinion is awesome now that's the settings alone. Let's go back to the main part. Now let's start from the basics. Let's start from Arcade, which is the go-to place for many people picking up these front ends in the beginning. And right off the bat, you have a very nice selection. You have around 814 games, which I have the feeling is a list that was curated to have at least the best of the best. Let's try out X-Men vs. Street Fighter. Nice loading screen here for uh, your weight. And there you have it. Now, I've been told by uh, one of the members also that they are planning to put in some nice extra features um, some of which they allude to on their Discord, uh, which are like manuals and, and, and stuff, like collector stuff, which is awesome, you know. Going the extra mile to please the, the, the gamer, you know, the collector in, in, in oneself that loves to have those little things. And seeing it in the front end, that's, that's pretty cool, that's pretty amazing. So as you can see, you have stuff here. You have scan lines here activated. 
but of course these are things that can be uh, toggled on and off from the settings screen that I showed you Should have broken out my 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 tournament stick for this. Uh, this will have to do for now. I'll take both of you on. starting to get on my nerves now. There you go. Alright. So that's on the arcade side alone, which you have tons and tons of games to go through and have fun with. Now also you have the uh, shoulder buttons because this is of course as you can see by the little icons and uh, the naming of those buttons and stuff this is made for Xbox controllers but you can use the shoulder buttons to change the genre so you can change them back and forth between you know shoot 'em ups and fighters and driving and all that great stuff you have even a motorcycle one here platforming shooter shoot 'em ups so yeah that is pretty cool now among not all systems are represented here but the ones that are seem to be pretty fleshed out um, I understand also that many uh, additional add-ons are going to be made for it take for example GameCube It comes with uh, a few games. I guess that keeps uh, the download uh, to a minimum, download file size. Let's throw in Monkey Ball here for a second. Attention to detail, of course, because each of the systems are represented with their own nice little loading screen so at this point even though this is kind of like a preview showcase because to be completely honest and fair I haven't put in the time the amount of time that I would like to for doing you know like a full review but as far as I'm concerned this is pretty polished you know this is something that I, I didn't have to go in tweaking or messing around with too much so that speaks very very well for team retro and the effort and the time that they put into this now of course I will leave a discord link in the description of this video just in case you want to go over there, check it out, download. Uh, of course, say thanks to the to the team, to the guys, put this together because they did a really excellent job. And from what I can tell, because I haven't been there for uh, very long, I just got there the other day. Um, I can tell that there are a group of really, you know, cool, down to earth, and humble people. So you know you're gonna feel right at home Ready? Go. everything works 
as it's supposed to. And also doing a great job while doing it. So let's go back here and try one more system before we end the video. Let's check out one of my favorites here, TurboGrafx-16. Now in this one, I'm guessing because of the fo uh, small file size of the games and stuff, you have a bit more. You have 30 games. So you have uh, much more of a selection here. Very nice. Looks very, very nice, very classy. And of course, as you can see, you have uh, custom system specific bezels in these systems that apply. And so far, everyone that I've seen uses these and they look really, really good. Oh man, that music brings me back. Get close. Spider. Oh, Devil's Crush. I know Boz 1978 adores this game. So he's going to love watching the video and seeing this. Go up, go up. They have no business down here. Oh. Amazing and fun title for its time still holds up amazingly well. And I can see why it's a game that is very dear to Boz. Alright, I'm going to stop it here before I start getting too involved and then the video is going to be too long to to uh, edit and process and stuff so there you have it guys pretty pretty impressive what's here I'm loving what I'm seeing so far I can't wait for other um, packs to come out even the ones that I love the most are really well represented. This one right here, Super NES, has 100. So it's not like the main uh, build or base build is going to starve you from having games. Uh, from the outset, you'll have a lot to mess around and play with. Now, it's not the fact of what it can have or what it has or what it doesn't. It's the fact that how it's presented. It's presented in a very, very nice, sleek, and I dare to say very, um, I don't know, high level, high class. Really love the way that they put this together. So, that's going to be all for now, guys. 
I hope you enjoyed the video. I uh, exhort you to now in these times where you need to stay like inside and you're willing to try new stuff, go ahead and give this build a try from Team Retro over at Retro Mods and uh, Team Retro's Discord. I will leave a link so you can go over there for an invite. And that is going to be all for now, guys. Check you out on the next one. Please like and subscribe and take care. Be safe.